Hi guys, uh, this is going to be a get ready with me. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do a chit chat one just to see, you know, what you thought. Haven't done a chit chat one for ages. Excuse the mess in the background. It is my bedroom and this is how I uh, keep my bedroom. No, it's just a bit of a mess at the moment and there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, if the lighting's weird, it's because I've got a daylight bulb right in front of me and I'm like a foot behind the camera. So, you know, the colours might be not brilliant, but um, anyway. I've already started off cleansing my face and I use the um, Garnier Miracle Wake Up Cream. I love this stuff and I have got a review coming up of this soon. So um, I've already done one on sleeping cream and I still use that and I swear by it, I love it. But um, that, um, but underneath that, just sort of around this area, I have used my Efficlar. Um, I think this one's the K, yeah, Efficlar K. I've got Efficlar Duo as well, um, switched between the two, so whatever. Um, I'm just going to try and put some sort of, um, what do you call it, primer around T-zone because I get sort of oily there. And I am going to use the collection Prime and Ready with Witch. Um, I love this stuff. It's really good. It's silicony feeling, but it doesn't make you feel slimy. So I'm just literally, it's a, it's a gel. So just rub it all around the areas that it's like a gel see it? nice clear gel but it you know it gets gets the job done yeah i've really missed sort of like chit chatty videos guys i've missed you all um yeah so i thought i'd do one today just hold on one moment right i'm back so i've i've done that i've applied it literally to my t-zone slightly under my eyes because it helps and the foundation that I'm going to use today oh, I love this stuff absolutely love it um I got it about two weeks ago and I've used nothing but and that's the um true match and I've got mine in I don't know if you can see that n2 can you see that yeah n2 um yeah love it perfect match absolutely love it oh, god my phone keeps going off I'm terribly sorry I'll put it on silent now because that's just rude um so yeah I'm going to use my um elf powder brush again I love this I've got loads of foundation brushes and I'm probably going to use either the mirror up here so if I look up here then that's where I am or I'll use the viewfinder um but for the moment I'll use the you the, the viewfinder the viewfinder and up there as well sort of off putting looking into my tablet because the light looks orangey <laughs> and I don't really want to look like I've been tangoed um <clears throat> but there you go I don't know if you can see the difference but that is half of my face done i just absolutely love this stuff i'm waiting for it oh well it is on a three for two at the moment but um i'm waiting until i get paid again and i'm just gonna go and stock up on this because i love it i might get two more of the vanilla and then one sort of like one shade up for uh <clears throat> the summer when i catch a bit of rays you know Blend it down my neck, even though it's a perfect match, I still blend it down my neck, I always do. Um, do I need another layer? Mm, maybe a little bit more on my cheeks. Just where it's a little bit red. And that is foundation done love it absolutely love it i don't know why i put my brush back because i need it again now um i'm gonna go in with the uh maybelline the eraser eye i just put like a little bit not that i've got dark circles but you know a little bit of brightening up never killed anybody did it so i'm gonna <clears throat> go back to my brush again and just literally push that in i'm not gonna rub it or dislodge it in any way whatsoever down my nose <sighs> done concealed right for powder i use two and i use my little primark powder brush so for under the eyes just because i swear by this and it doesn't crease and it doesn't make me look like cakey or anything and this is the MUA Hydro Define yeah uh, skin define hydro powder and this is really good because it's like a 
it's not a drying out and it's very sort of like white but it's not white if you know what I mean um, it's very very light so I literally put that around my eyes and down my teaser and then I finish the rest of my face with your Manhattan powder everyone knows I love this this was in natural I've got pretty much all the colors in the light range um, but it, it literally just finishes my face off just set the rest of it now I'm going to tackle my brows next so that'll be fun oh now what I keep getting messages oh my phone is so rude today uh, da, da, da. what did I say I was going to do next ah, I've forgotten um, oh eyebrows so I'm going to go into my favourite kit which is my um, heart brow eye heart makeup thing yeah, it's, got, it's got the average normal colours in it and my normal brush which things are just dropping on my floor now uh, my hair got really long God. Um, is my I think this is the body shop yes yeah, the body shop slanted slanted something I don't know but it's it's slanted and it, it's just what I use for my eyebrows I always have done so I'm going to look up here for this because I don't want to muck this bit up you know I don't do them amazingly I literally just draw them on I'm quite lazy but I find that this powder is just amazing perfect colour match to my skin and my hair I've gone a little bit over there but never mind. Um, yeah it just makes me look a bit like better so that's that done quickest brow job ever so that is that then I'm going to do a bit of um, bronzing shall we go bronzing yes again I'm going to use my Primark duo fiber it's just like a I don't know what is it it's a <laughs> it's a duo fiber brush and my MUA um, bronze perfection powder literally just tap Let's, you see all the powder that came off of that it's crazy so I'm literally just going to bronze bronze up a bit just colour me up so I don't look so pale in this lovely British English whatever weather awful just gives me a bit of colour. Um, probably not going to contour today because it's a Saturday. I'm not going anywhere apart from work tonight. Really don't need to dress up for work. A little bit just down the sides. And absolutely doesn't look any different on camera whatsoever, but there you go. Um, for blusher, I'm going to go for the Makeup Revolution. Now, which one should I use? love or treat love and this is just like a you know neutrally sort of pink all my brushes are behind the camera by the way that's why i'm leaning over so i'm literally just going to tap my brush into that just gives me a little bit of color nothing major i don't know if you can even see that I usually go just slightly heavier than I would normally because then what I do is I take my brush and I just buff it, buff it together, buff the bronzer and the blusher together. Um, yeah, so that's a bit done. Do I go into my highlight now? Yeah, what I'll probably do is I will. I'll do my um, Freedom Ambient Powder. Again, don't use a lot of this really, but I literally just, where is it? That one I think my um slipping brush from i think this was wilco's yes yeah, we'll go well. um just brush it in tap it literally on the tops of my cheeks it's just not too major a highlight if you know what i mean it just gives you that glow but down the nose and chin yeah so i wish you could tell the difference of to what it looks like because i don't know there you go if i get a bit closer so that's it so far um then i'm gonna do my eyes so for my eyes i've got a feeling it's down there yes it is hold on 
Um, and we're going to use a new palette again, which I've been using a couple of times. Again, this is going to be in a haul. I haven't hauled it yet. Um, and it will also be in uh, review. Um, and this is the Revolution Pro Looks Stripped and Bare. I love this. It's got it's totally different format to all their other sort of shadow things. It's got like three sections in it. Um, all sort of catered, you know, for around what you want to do for your eyes. There's a, a light one, a really, really dark, smoky one, and a sort of neutral one. So I'm going for the middle one because it's what I've been wearing sort of like for the last <sighs> week and a half. It's pretty much the same eye look every day. Um, eye Heart Stage eye primer. Love this stuff. I am dredging this. It is like right at the bottom now. Um, I have got back up but I don't want to start it because I love this stuff and I just don't want it to disappear. So literally all over the eyes. Rub it in. That's it. Oh. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the middle section here. So I'm just going to use this top colour first just to wash over the eyes. Um, obviously just so that, you know, it makes it easier for... Uh, it's quite a nice colour. Literally just wash the whole thing over the eyes just so it makes it easier to blend the other shadows. Not that I will be doing a lot of blending today. I'm not doing a major eye look. I'm just going for what I would normally do every day. So that's that bit. And then I'm going to take this, from this side, I'm going to take this shade here, which is like a sort of pinky, taupey colour, just to start putting in my crease. You will see, when I get a close-up of the on the camera, you will see that it has made some sort of difference to my eye. So I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very slight, but I sort of go up in the colours. So let me just do this here. You're not really going to see a great deal because of where my lighting is. I've really got to get like a decent setup here, guys, because I love doing videos for you, but they're either too dark or too light. Or So now I'm going into this middle shade here of the actual bit that I'm using. Tap off a little bit and I'm just going to sort of darken the outside a bit. Again, it's so subtle and these these shadows are just amazing. They just like they're soft. They're not... um crazy sort of they don't fall out not a fall out at all literally just going to darken the outside of that up let's darken that up a bit you see and that probably this middle shade is probably what i'll use under the eye as well and then i'm going to go into this amazing amazing pink and i don't know if you're going to see that on camera how amazingly sparkly that is but it's gorgeous. And this one is called Let Loose. So let me just get a bit on my finger. There you go. Look at that. Oh! And I'm literally just going to tap that on it in a bit. In a bit. In a corner, if you want to call it. Now look at the sparkle in there, guys. Look at it. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to do the other side. Literally just tapping it on packing it on actually because it's such a lovely colour and you could put a base under this to make it even stand out even more I, I probably actually would have done that if I'd have remembered but the base is over there and it would just have been the um I think it's the pink yeah it would have been this one it would have been this one it would have been the Maybelline pink gold because it's just amazing but as you can see that sort of impacted enough for a Saturday I'm not going anywhere amazingly probably to the kitchen to do some washing that'll be about it but that is that now I might try and deepen it up just a little bit <sighs> shall I deepen it up just a little bit that is actually probably the deepest shade in here like the matte shade but let's just see if I can deepen it up just a little bit more just tap a little bit more colour on there that's better I'm happy with that. So that's that. That's blended quite well, even though it doesn't look like it's blended. And then I'm going to go um, under my eyes with uh, the same colour, this one. Just here. Um, so obviously I don't want it too dark. I make me look. I've got black eyes. So let me find a brush for that. Again, this is an e.l.f. one. 
I'm literally just going to tap into that brush and run it under the lower lash line. It just brings the eye look together. I'm going to have to look up here. I'm terrified I'm going to poke myself in the eye. <laughs> That's that one. And that's that side. Amazing, look at that. Now there's a really, really light sparkly one here. Here, did I say? Yeah, pointed the right one. I'm literally just going to put that on the inner corners of my eye. Very sparkly, as you can see. I'm going to tap that on the inner corner just to brighten up the eyes a little bit. Oh, look, you can see it. Just to wake me up a little bit. And that is just like beautiful. Okay, so that's the eyes. Do you like? So that's that. And that is the, um, like I said, the Stripped and Bare palette from Makeup Revolution, which isn't in my local store, but I found it in another one that's a little bit further away. So I've, I grabbed it. It's only £6. Amazing. Um, now I'm going to use what mascara shall I use? Uh, I'm going to go for an Old Faithful. I'm going to go for my um, Lash Princess. I love this. This is in waterproof. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to put that on my eyes now. I might just get a mirror so that I'm not, um, you know, looking up there all the time because it's rude. This is almost out now. Oh, I've got two backups, but I don't want, again, I don't want to start it because I don't want it to end. It's just the most beautiful mascara ever. So. And this is without a primer, without curling my lashes. Not that my lashes, I'm quite lucky, my lashes don't really, um, they're not really straight. They're quite curly anyway. So, right, so I don't know if you can see the difference. That's with and that's without. So now I'll do the other side to make myself look even. And I love it because it's like, it's £2.30 I think from Wilco's. Um, it's the Essence one, and I love it. Like I said, I've got a lot of mascaras. I use a lot of mascaras, but I absolutely love this. It doesn't clump. Um, it makes volume on your lashes. Um, it separates them. It fans them out. It's just amazing. Um, it does very, very, very similar to results uh, results to the... Um, Long calm hypnose drama, which I have also got, and I think I did a comparison video. I'm not sure if I did, I will link it below because I compared one eye with this and one eye with the um, hypnose drama, and you really could not tell the difference at all. So, that is oh god, I need to drop my mirror. So, that's that. I think that's on tight now. Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. <laughs> oh. Um, I forgot to put that on, damn it. I was going to put like a, a lip conditioner on. I got these from Gosh um, the other day. The lip oils and they're amazing. Now I think Milani do something like this in America. They do like um, lip oils, different treatments. There's about four colours. There's a clear one, a purpley one, a red one and a the yellow one. I've got red one and the yellow one, as you can see. These are lovely. Um, I'm still sort of on the fence about, you know, what they do. But they do condition my lips. Um... I think the red one's got a slight tint to it, but I literally, I don't put too much of this on. Literally sweep it. And rub it in. These will be ideal. Um, I wouldn't think they'd be ideal with um, li liquid lipsticks, you know, the ones that dry. Because obviously oil removes them, so that's just going to break them up when you put them on the skin. But if you've got like a matte lipstick... Um, which I have up there, but I'm not going to use a red one because I think pink and red's not going to go. But I don't know if you can see the sheen on my lips. And oh, they're just absolutely divine. Mm. Like I said, I'm still sort of testing them out before I come to you and say, like, you know, what I think. But I think I'm going to do a pink lip. I think I'm going to go pink and bold. So what I'm going to use is a Maybelline. Yeah, I think I'll use the Maybelline one. And I'm going to use Fuchsia Desire, and that's the one with bright pink. So let me pop some of that on. 
Let me rub my oil in a bit. It's such a nice oil just to wear it on your lips, like for a little slight gloss during the day. But let me pop this on. Mm. Makes the matte pencil glide on well. Mm. There you go. Oh my god, that's coming up Barbie pink in the camera. I don't know how it's coming across to you, but it definitely is. Barbie. Let me a bit, let me get a bit closer. Let's get close up and personal. Oh no, it's not too Barbie. So those are the eyes. These are the lips. Mwah. Um, yeah, so that's that. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy talking to you guys quite a bit. Oh my god, that's twenty minutes. It doesn't usually take me twenty minutes to put my makeup on, so I don't know why it does when you're watching me but there you go so that's it um i've got my hair in a half up half down <sighs> bit of a childish sort of hairstyle for uh, a 44 year old but basically i put my youngest daughter's hair up this morning um, and she wanted a half up half down and when she done it i thought oh that looks rather good i might just do that so that's me half up half down oh my god i've just looked out of my window i've got to show you this guys excuse me but i've got to show you this it is snowing and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, God. Quick. Can you see it? Can you see the snow? I'm hoping you can see that. I just literally looked out my window and it is pelting down with snow. Oh, my God. Okay, right. So, you know, there you go. 5th of March. It's snowing. We're in England. What can I say? Anybody across the sea, if you just saw that, oh, we've got snow. But there you go. Right, that's it. Stop blabbering. This is the look. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will um, see you all in my next video, guys. It was great chatting to you. Let me know what you've been doing this week or this day, to, like today. And for anybody, um, if this has gone past Mother's Day, then I hope you had a wonderful day. It is actually the Saturday before Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, so if this does particularly have to go, if it does go up today, then happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there for tomorrow. Um, have a lovely day. And as long as it doesn't keep snowing, well, you could go sledging on Mother's Day. That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you enjoy this video and um, I love you all guys and I'll see you all soon. Mwah!